Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip. And this is a tip for everybody, backpackers, hikers, campers, even the preppers out there. Uh, we are mostly made of water. Water is very empirical to our own existence. We need water, we require water, and without it, we will die. So having clean, potable, healthy water to drink is very, very important. And if you have to treat your own water, there's a lot of things you have to concern yourself with. There's, uh, there's uh, particulate matter, uh, there's chemicals, um, there's heavy metals, and then there's the little creepy crawlies that are crawling around in your water that if you ingest them can make you very, very sick and could possibly kill you. So taking care of those biological hazards is very, very important when you treat your own water. There's a lot of different ways you can do that. You can treat it with bleach, uh, Aquamira, you can use iodine, you can use a SteriPan. There's a lot of mechanical, there's a lot of chemical methods, but this is a very, very simple method that anybody can employ just about anywhere in the temperate part of the world and that is called the SOTUS method. It stands for solar uh, disinfection or solar disinfecting method. And it's a very, very popular method in third world countries and it's very, very simple and all you need are some plastic bottles. Now you can use glass for this, but some glass won't work, so it's very, very important that if you do use glass, you do make sure that it does work for this method. And the way, way it works is the same way as a SteriPen uses UV light. UV light will kill a lot of the bacteria and, and things that are floating around in your water, those little creepy crawlies that give you that uh, green apple quick step. And my preferred method is I'm stocking up on these uh, smart water bottles because they are a PET rated, they are a PT, PET1, which there are some websites that say you shouldn't use number one, but it's very, very hard to find something that will work properly. Uh, two, four, and five are the preferred numbers. You want to, they say that you should use one three and six with caution and anything mark seven you want to avoid like the plague so um, these are rated as a pet one ideally they should only be used once but i haven't found a source of any number with a good size of plastic that is two four or five which are the preferred numbers so i'm using number one and the idea is very simple you use the uv light that's coming from the sun which we can't see to kill all the little creepy crawlies that are in your water or might be in your water. And it's very, very simple. I just buy these every once in a while when I go to the store. They're about a buck, buck and a half, something like that, $1.29 or something. And they're a one liter bottle. So a couple of these would uh, be able to support a person for a day. That's very, very simple. What you want to do is uh, don't completely fill the bottle with water. You want to leave a little uh, air in there. That's very important because especially if water has been standing for a long, long time and the oxygen has been allowed to uh, leach out of it, you want to shake that up really good and you want to get oxygen into that water because the oxygen is very, very important to this method. It reacts with the UV light and will help uh, disinfect your water. So having done that, you simply want to uh, take that bottle and set it out in the sun. How long to set it out in the sun? Well, obviously you want a bright sunny day. Of course, I'm in a little bit of shade here because it's more convenient for me to do this video here than it is in the bright sun. And so, but when you get your bottles all uh, filled up and, and shaken up, you simply set them out into the bright sun. Uh, six hours is about a good average number. Uh, you might be able into some parts of the country get by with four. If you're not sure, go eight hours. If you don't have eight hours of sunshine, just hold them over for the next day, set them out in the sun the next day, the more the better. Uh, you can't ruin your water by having it set out in the sun for too long. It's just a matter of how safe you really wanna be. So six hours, set them out there, and you're probably good to drink. Now there are other uh, concerns that you have to worry about. There's the uh, heavy metals, there's the uh, particulate matter that might be floating around, there's chemicals. This does nothing for those. This simply takes care of those little nasty critters that might be floating around in your water that are not good for you to ingest. So this is Backpack Hack coming at you with this trail tip. Uh, look into getting some bottles and um, trying out the sodas method. Um, I have several dozen of these stored away, so if I need to in a grid down situation where my water supply is, is broken off, I have plenty of water. I can collect rainwater and things like that. And I could use this method as part of my water purification techniques. I have other ways to um, take care of those little nasty critters. But this is a very, very simple method that you can use that uh, is very easy and inexpensive. You can just get some of these bottles, store them away. And as you need to, just set some bottles out into the sun and you'll have fresh, clean drinking water as part of your preparation. So this is Backpack Hack coming at you with this trail tip. Be safe out there and I'll see you out there in the trail.